Okay, so we came to Target and we're gonna go look at some cards because this is what Ethan likes. He plays, um, well, he doesn't really play, but he collects these cards. These magic cards. So Ethan collects these magic cards. Of course, we're also gonna look at books and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm definitely getting one of these. This slugging hydrating mist slug cream. So bomb. I want one of them, but I don't know which one. Okay, my sister told me that these are really good. They don't have the strawberry one, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the peach one. Oops. Okay, or should I get this? I don't know. Okay, I found this cute bow. Don't need it, but I kind of like it, but I have like three other boats, so I think I'm gonna leave it, but it's really cute. We're looking at soup and somebody left this book and look at what it is. I kind of want to get it, but I already have it. Just not this cover, but I kind of want to get it, so. I'm just gonna put it in the cart to bring it back to the book section, but I'm not getting it. This was such a good book. I loved it. I also really want to read this one, but this is the second one. I don't see the first one, but everyone says that this book is really, really good. Okay, so I feel like I found a good enough spot. The lighting was being weird and I just didn't like it and I got frustrated, but I was like, you know what? I just wanted to share with my book besties some books. So I did purchase these throughout like the past few months. It wasn't just like a one-time thing. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, I was wearing this sweater in that video, the physical TBR video that I did and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna buy any more books. I bought more books like of course we knew I was not gonna be able to stay on the book ban so here we are but I'm excited to show you guys the books that I've recently purchased starting off with where the dark sand still I think this was a purchase from like targets buy two get one or either buy one get one half off something like that um but this cover like I saw it on someone's Instagram I think like on um either TikTok or an Instagram and I was like that looks really good I love the cover it's giving romanticy and the only thing is though after I picked this one up I did see another video and someone was like this book was good but it wasn't like you have to get it because they say that it's pretty much the same plot as Akotar A Court of Thorns and Roses so I don't know maybe it'll be different enough for me and I'll end up liking it but either way I got it because the cover looked so cool and I didn't know about that until after I got it um but yeah the cover looks really cool it has like trees and the trees have eyes and I'm really excited for this one I love her dress and mysterious looking man back there but yeah I'm super excited for this one and I do I do think it's a romantic see that's what people said it's like a guitar so next book is how does it feel the infatuated Fay book one by Janine O'Reilly my friend actually read this book and she said it was so freaking good and that it there's like spice in it and um i'm really excited for it but she did say that the second book isn't as good but i was like it's fine i'll just read the first one but i'm really excited for this one i like the cover i like the green i like how it just looks like mysterious but it, like i don't know i think it's gonna be i think it's gonna be one that i'm gonna like next i have a book shops and bone dust i think that's what this one is i have the first one i haven't read it yet but i'm gonna read it soon i promise but i got this one because it was on sale for like seven dollars at target and i couldn't pass it up i was like okay it was like randomly like on sale for like seven bucks so i picked it up and i heard that people really like the first one so i'm really excited for this little series either way i think that i'm gonna like it it's just very much my vibe so i had to get it and next I've got Romantic Comedy by Curtis Steinfield from Reese's Book Club. 
This actually is a book that my husband picked up for me um, from, I think, Costco. Yeah, I think that's how they do their things. It was a Costco, yeah. So he picked this up for me. He surprised me with a book when he came back one time from grocery shopping by himself. Honestly, sometimes I low-key like when he goes grocery shopping by himself because he actually ends up bringing me things and then I don't have to feel bad being with him. Be like, can I get this? You know, he just brings them to me without me asking. So love that. But I do have like a hit or miss. It's always a hit or miss for me with the Reese's Book Club picks. I read the last thing he told or the yeah the last thing he told me and I really like that book I know that book is also very hit or miss for people I really like the book I tried watching the show and I thought the show was too boring um but I like the book and then there were a couple other books that I've read that are Reese's I can't remember what they are though but her like book club books and some of them I like some of them I didn't um but I'm interested to see if I'm gonna like this one this one I think it's like um it says, a sketch writer for the Night Owls, a late night live comedy show that airs every Saturday. So I think it takes place like in Hollywood and it's like between this like guy and girl who work in the business or something like that. And I guess it is a romance. I don't know. We'll see. I like the cover. When he first brought this to me, I actually thought that it was um, this other book, How to how to end a love story or something like that i thought it was that one and i got really excited but then i realized it wasn't and i was like oh well i was so excited though because it was super nice that he got it for me but um that's the book that i thought it was because it's kind of the same colors um but yeah i don't know has anyone read this let me know if you've read this and like what your thoughts were and I also have A Butcher and Blackbird. I am so excited for this one. I kept hunting for it at my Target and they didn't have it for the longest time. And then they finally got it in stock during, I think it was like during the sale. All of these books I got during sales. That's the other thing. Like I've told you guys before, like I will only get a book if it's on sale. I will never really purchase it full price unless I go to like an indie bookstore, which I do have um a couple or yeah i got a couple of books from an indie bookstore um and i will purchase those obviously full price but if i go to like barnes and like target they have to be on sale so butcher and blackbird i've heard so many freaking good things people are always like i didn't think i was gonna like this book as much or like am i weird that i'm liking the main characters in this book because i think they're both like serial killers or something like that but it's like a romance and i think it's kind of like supposed to be a little bit funny um but also like a little dark i don't know i haven't really looked much into it that much but I always hear people talking about it and they always say that it was so good. So I had to pick it up. Okay, so the next two books that I have are actually purchased full price because they were from my local little indie bookstore. Um, we have Pride and Premeditation and Sense and Second Degree Murder. First of all, look at these covers. They are stunning. I love the colors. They're so pretty. And the flowers and stuff are like um, stitch work it's, or like needle it's not like actually like that it's just like a normal paperback but it looks like it and I thought that was so cool um these are young adult books they're like Jane Austen inspired and they're murder mysteries like that sounds so freaking good to me so I had to get it I actually picked up the second book first because they only had this one at the bookstore and I ended up having them order the first one for me because for me, I feel like if there's a book that I have on my TBR and just like have in my mind that if I see it, I want to purchase it, when I see it in store, it just makes it so much more magical for me. Like, I know I can always order them online and have them shipped to my house, but I feel like just finding them in store and having them be like, oh my gosh, I've been looking for you. And there it is. And it's like, wow, that's my book. Like, I wanted it. You're here. I found you. Like, it just makes it so much more magical to me and just the more like fun and special experience so I usually only purchase books even if I really want them when they are like actually in the store like when I find them in the store um so when I found this one I was like okay that's kind of a sign though like I really want to get it but maybe I shouldn't get it because it's not the first one but then I was like it's fine I'll just order the first one because I technically found the series in store so I picked these up and I'm super excited for these Ugh, I can't wait I think I'm gonna read this one I'm reading Practice Makes Perfect. So right now I think I'm reading, what am I reading? I'm reading Twilight Falls, um, A Shady Hollow Murder Mystery. Super cute, highly recommend. After that, I'm planning on reading Practice Makes Perfect and then The House on Mango Street. And then after that, I think I'm gonna read this one because 
I'm really excited for it. It's giving spring vibes, even though I don't necessarily think it is. But, um, yeah, the cover just, I don't know. I, I just want to read it, so I'm going to read it. So we just came back from picking up the dogs. They got haircuts, and they look so cute. If you guys hear any noise, Chanel's, like, rolling on the floor because she hates being clean. She hates the smell of clean. So she tries to roll around on the floor. But the next book that I have is this Wicked book. Um, I actually saw this at Barnes & Noble, I think, and I almost bought it, but I ended up finding it um, at my local used bookstore for $7, and I'm so excited to read this. Wicked is coming out, I think, in August, and you bet I'm going to be watching that movie. Like, I love Wicked. I've never seen the actual, like, show, um, but it's coming to the Pantages Theater in L.A., and I kind of want to try and get tickets. I don't know if I'll be able to, but... We shall see, and if I do go, you guys will come along for that trip, although you can't, like, actually film inside the theater, but, you know, you'll come along. So, yeah, I got Wicked. I'm very excited for that. I think I might read it during, like, Halloween time, even though it's not necessarily Halloween. But the next book that I got, I actually just finished this. This is Wild Love by Elsie Silver. This was a book club pick for one of my book clubs. And this is my first Elsie Silver read. It was so freaking good. I can't wait to do, like, a full little review but all I'm gonna say is you need to get this book. It's really good. It looks like it's thick and it's very like daunting and like I was kind of like <gasps> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to read that in time but the pages are like really skinny and the letters are like really thick so it's really easy to get through. I got through it in like I think three or four days but I also took my time with it because I was really really loving the story but that one was so good. Next book that I have is The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. I am actually really excited to read this book. Um, I've heard that it's really good. I don't really know much what it's about. I think there's like, um, is it a like a love triangle? I think it might be a love triangle situation. Not too sure, but I've heard great things about this one. So I also got this one for $5.50 at my local used bookstore. I have Bridesmaid for Hire by Megan Quinn. This was a Target pick, you can tell. Um, but this is an enemies to lovers, I think, or rivals to lovers and it's also like fake dating and I love those two tropes so I'm very excited to read this one. This one also seems like it would be good for the summer because I think it might be like a tropical or like a destination wedding um, that they're like friends with the bride so I think it's gonna be a good one. Next we have Stone Maidens by Lloyd Devereaux Richards. Um, this is a thriller. I'm very excited to read this one. This one is actually, I think, about like a serial killer, um, but he wrote it. Um, his friend, I believe, that he knew when they were younger was almost killed by a serial killer, and he took inspiration from that or something like that. Um, but I'm really excited for this one. Uh, I found the book on TikTok, and then I saw that it was part of the, like, deal for buy one get one or whatever on target so i had to pick it up he also has a second one called i forget what maidens of the cave i think is what the second one is called but i'm very excited to read this one i think i'm gonna save this one for fall too because i just really want to be in those fall spooky vibes but i'm super excited for this one and next we have dungeons and drama this looks so cute like the cover it's just so adorable i love all the pink and yellow and I love the vibes. Um, my husband actually loves um, Dungeons and Dragons and I used to be in, it wasn't called the drama club, it was um, like drama class at my school but I was in drama and I don't know I just thought it would be cute to read. This is a young adult novel um, so I don't think it's going to be like anything spicy but I think it's just going to be a cute little romance situation so I'm very excited to read this one. Okay, next we have Homecoming by Kate Morton. My husband actually picked this up for me. It's got some really cool like edges on it, um, like the texture of it, but I think this is more like of a suspenseful, thrillery type book. It takes place, I believe, in 1959. Um, so yeah, I don't know what it's about really because he picked it up, but I'm excited to read it. I think I'm going to like it because I like books like that, so I think it might end up being a fave and if it's not that's fine because the cover is really pretty and I'll just add it to my Pango books and then you can buy it. Next we have Raiders of the Lost Heart. 
Um, this book I actually saw at Barnes and Noble and I didn't get it because I saw that Target sells it and I was like the next time there's a sale I'm gonna pick it up and I did so um, this is it gives me um, Indiana Jones vibes or that movie that Sandra Bullock and um, was it Channing Tatum I think it was Channing Tatum no it wasn't Channing Tatum it was John Cena I don't know why I got them mixed up but it kind of gave me those vibes at least the cover it's like a fun adventurous little romance I'm very excited for it and they go into the Mexican jungle so like that's fun and cool but yeah I'm really excited to read this one I think I'm gonna read this one during the summer as well and next I have Next of Kin by Hannah Bonham Young. Um, this is the author of Out on a Limb. I actually almost purchased that book when we went to the romance bookstore, but I ended up skipping on it. Um, but I've heard that that book was also really good. I'm really excited for this one. This is actually, um, I think she has a little sister. So there's like, I know there's people out there that don't like books when they involve like children. Um, but... I just read Elsie Silver and the Elsie Silver book, um, Wild Love, and that one the main character finds out like he's like a dad, and I actually liked it. I didn't mind it. Like my cousin doesn't like books like that, but I I liked it. I also have the nanny. Um, I don't know where I put it, but I have the nanny too. I don't remember who the author is, but that one also obviously involved a single dad, single mom tropes. Those types of book. Um, I know a lot of people don't like them, but I think I might like them. I actually. I like them I don't know so this is kind of like that type of book I think they lose their parents and she's like the older sister but she um, obviously becomes kind of like the mother figure to the girl um, but yeah I'm excited to read this one too and next I have a book that I've been so excited to read this is done and dusted by Lila Sage the cover I love it so much I love the style I I think it's so cute um, and I don't know what it's about. I just know that it's a freaking cowboy romance. One of my book friends, she just finished reading, uh, the Chestnut Spring series by Elsie Silver, and she loved it. She, like, went through the book so fast, and she keeps telling me that I need to read that, and I was like, I'm gonna read it, but I was like, oh my gosh, there's, like, five books. So I was a little nervous, so when I saw this at the bookstore, I was like, it's a sign, because I haven't seen it in person, like, anywhere else. Um, so I saw it and I was like, okay, I'm going to try this one because there's only two books out right now. The third one comes out, I think, in a couple of months. But I'm, like, super excited for it because there's only three, so it's not that many. But, and it's also, like, a pretty thin book. But I have heard a few reviews that said it wasn't that great. But honestly, I'm just so excited to enter my cowboy romance era. And next we have A Fate Inked in Blood. This is actually a probably smut um special edition of the book i actually have the regular one here i'll show you guys i actually bought the regular one at target a while ago or like when it first came out because i saw the sprayed edges or i don't know if they're sprayed technically but they're like shiny edges and it sounded really cool this is a viking romance and i've never read anything like that um it's also like fantasy very layers like magic and stuff i think in it and i've heard that there's spice in it too and it's a romance it's like romanticy and that's my absolute favorite like i can do fantasy on its own kind of if it's not super complicated and it's not like a whole bunch of world building because that's just too much for me honestly but i don't mind too like a little bit of it but if there's romance in it and it's a romanticy then sign me up so i'm so excited i've heard that this is a really good book um i didn't know that the monthly book was going to be the same one for um this one i bought this one like two months before this one came out i think um so yeah i didn't know so i didn't skip it but i actually really like this cover too i think it's really cool and it's like hardback um and the inside was it this one it has like this cool letter um but yeah i'm excited for this one it would have been cool if they did like sprayed edges on this one too i think that would have just topped it off but yeah i have these next i have just for the summer by abby jimenez this is actually my first abby jimenez book i don't think i have any of her other ones i've heard that part of your world was really good too um and i think these books you don't necessarily have to read them in order but they do mention like characters like characters in this book are going to be mentioned that were in the other books but i've heard that you don't have to read them in order so i'm hoping that's true because i'm planning on reading this for the summer because look at how pretty 
this cover is it's so cute it just screams summer it screams fun like ugh, i just want to read this so bad um but i'm waiting a lot of people already read it but i i just i really want to wait for the summer but i've heard that abby jimenez is like really good and her stories are very like beautiful and i just really want to read it um but yeah let me know if you've read this one already because it came out not that long ago so we have unsteady by peyton corinne this is a little hockey romance after reading icebreaker which is my absolute favorite book that i've read so far this year i loved it so much um i just wanted to be in my hockey romance era so i picked this one up it looks like a quick read um but yeah i don't know too much about it but i love a hockey romance and next we have king of sloth by anna wong or wang um this is the fourth book in her king of series i have all the other books but i haven't started them yet don't tell anyone Shh. so yeah i actually haven't read any of the other ones yet and i was gonna wait till i finished reading the other books to get this one but then i saw that there was um some special art inside and i was nervous because i didn't know if they were going to keep selling them like this if it was going to be a situation like this book like this one they don't sell anymore with the sprayed edges it was only for like the first like few batches that they did um they only have it with like regular edges so i was like well what if they don't have the book with the cool art inside i don't know if that's true they might still just sell that it might just be like forever and always but i wasn't sure so i went and i got it but this is like a billionaire romance like series um and this is the fourth book people said it was really good i'm very excited to read it like i said i need to read the rest of the books so i'm gonna hop on that because i'm just i wanna i wanna know what everyone else knows because a lot of people really like i think either was it either the second or the third book and i just want to know like i want to know why everyone's obsessed with it i really i want to be obsessed too okay look at this tower of books that i have this is this is kind of crazy and I have some other ones actually that are kind of new but this is getting too long so I'm just gonna show you these so this is the outfit that I'm gonna wear got the sweater the leggings and then I'm wearing the Tasman I think is what they're called like Ugg slippers they're very dirty they're very dirty and like just kind of fudged up but they do their job and then i'm also gonna wear my ripped bodice tote bag i love this because it fits so many things and it like feels comfortable but yeah this is what i'm gonna wear i don't know it's kind of hot though so i kind of want to change but ain't nobody got time for that so let's go Thank you.
we just came back from walking the dogs. The weather has been absolutely insane and it's not giving spring, it's giving fall. And I love fall, but we're not in fall, so it's kind of like, can you cooperate with me, weather? So my hair is just like a crazy lion's mane, but I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I picked up from the boozy little book fair. She didn't have that many things, so... I didn't pick that many up so the book fair was run by this little like local indie bookstore um and then her best friend owns a brewery it's how you say it place or a brewery so they did like this little event and they called it like boozy book fair and the book shop owner she didn't have that many books but she did have happy place in the freaking cover that i've been wanting it in um the letter i just realized right now the lettering is like raised so it's got like you can like feel the letters and it's so pretty just look at how beautiful this cover is these are the other um covers and i want to eventually collect them all as well because i think that they're so pretty but here's the catch i have this book already in the regular paperback because it came out not that long ago and i was like oh my gosh because i'm a paperback lover i love paperback books i know a lot of people like hardcover books but i love paperback but i also originally bought it when it was in hardcover so now i have three of these books and i haven't even read them but i know a lot of people have mixed reviews like i said um it's either you like it or you don't like it but I'm excited for it. Um, I haven't read anything from Emily Henry, but I just, I love this cover. I love this book. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm a sh shopaholic, bookaholic. But also, these two I did get on sale. This one was full price because it was obviously at the little indie bookstore. Um, so I don't know if that makes it better, but I got Happy Place. And then that was all I was planning on getting for books because there weren't that many books that like I was um, super into. They didn't have like that big of a romance or fiction section. It was kind of small. She honestly didn't have that many books in general. Um, but it was the first time doing this thing. So I'm sure next time she might have like more. Um, but I found this. This is The Never Ending Story. I don't know if any of you guys have seen that movie but... Um, my dad used to play this movie a lot and we, when we were growing up with my sister we would watch it all the time and um when stranger things came out the one with Susie and dustin i think and they sang the, the never ending story song it just always like made me so nostalgic and reminded me of the time when we used to watch the movie with my dad so i picked up the book and it's just so pretty and it's so cute um i did get this in the children's section but honestly like I, I guess this is a children's story, but it's kind of like, it's got a lot of tiny little print, and I don't know. So I'm excited to read this. I I don't know. It's, it's going to be a vibe because I haven't seen that movie in a really long time, and I'm just super happy to add this to my collection. It's a cute little size. I will say I'm not obsessed with the tiny print though because i need glasses and i'm always like having to have my books like right here so i can see that's why when i read to you guys sometimes the synopsis on the back i um jumble up my words one because i speak spanglish i'm thinking in one language and then i'm trying to say it at the same time in a different language so words just get jumbled up in my mind and then when they come out it's like you know i stumble a lot um but also because i can't see so i'm like wait is that what it's saying so i don't love that it's tiny print but your girl is getting her glasses soon so it's whatevs but i'm just so happy to have this it's seriously so cute and i love the like look at how like flexible and like just flimsy i love these kinds of books because they don't get messed up as easily so love that now are you guys ready for the fun things like very much nostalgia throwback to scholastics book fair at school um so i got this little pack of bookmarks it says literary bookmark box it has 24 bookmarks um on the back it only showed like a few of them but i was like that's cool you can never have too many bookmarks um i didn't see that many i actually bought this separately because the first time that i went around to like the book section they didn't have this and then i went back and i saw this because one of my friends came a little later and i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna pick that up so i got it and then are you guys ready they had freaking smensels like straight up smensels or i thought it said it somewhere but these are smensels and not only are they like pencils 
their pens. So I don't really like writing with pencils anymore, but oh my gosh. Sorry, I just made a really weird noise. Oh my gosh, that smells so freaking good. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I think this is a gel pen. It's, it's glitter stuff. I should have bought more. I didn't know how, my, how much these were though because they didn't have tags on them. And I was trying not to go too crazy. So, because, you know, we always talk about this. I try not to go too crazy. So I was like, fine, I'm not going to get a lot of things. But that smells so good. And it's a freaking pen that is so cute. And then, I didn't know it was a glitter one. And then this one is really cool too because it has, um, let me see if I can show you guys better. So that's what it looks like. It's got this. This one is, is this watermelon? Oh, yeah. That smells like a straight up Jolly Rancher. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, I really wish I had gotten more. Maybe she'll, actually, you know what? She'll probably keep them at her freaking um, bookstore. So maybe I'll just need to go to the bookstore again. Um, but this is a little tricolor pen thing. See, I see that it has different colors. So for annotating, that is like perfect. I am so happy. And I didn't know this one was glitter. I didn't show you guys this one very well. So I'll show you again. Okay, so that's what this one looks like. The strawberries. It says strawberry. It's so freaking cute. Those are all the things that I got from today's little boozy book fair. It was such a fun time. And I really hope that they do something like this again. And I hope you guys had fun coming along with me. And I just hope you guys enjoyed this whole video. I know it's going to be a little bit of a long one because I filmed a lot during this weekend. Um, I was very busy and I had a lot of like different events. But it was a really fun time. Um, but definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed today's video by leaving a like, subscribe and leaving me a little comment um, and I hope you guys have a beautiful magical and wonderful day bye